Today, I'm embarking on another exciting adventure to one of the richest countries in the world, Luxembourg. It even has deluxe in the name. And don't make the mistake of confusing Luxembourg with Liechtenstein, because I did, and boy, I was disappointed. But today, I'm here to taste the real thing. And don't worry, I'm broke and broken, so we won't be spending a lot of money here today. Wow, looks crazy. It reminds me of the train scene in The Hunger Games where Katniss and Pete are heading to the capital. No, just me? An obligatory pee in the train before we go. Looks quite modern. And here we are. We're here. Not gonna lie, for the central train station of the whole country, this looks incredibly plain. But there's not that many people. Surprisingly, public transportation in Luxembourg is free for everyone. But we're gonna do the old-fashioned walking just like they did in the good old days. As we were walking past five guys that are very supportive of pro-choice, we were heading to our first destination. Ooh, baby trash can! On Google Maps I saw that there was a Russian supermarket somewhere here that I'm very interested in, but I couldn't really find it. <sighs> Alas. <laughs> Looks burgers, I get it. But what I did find is these Minecraft looking pillars that for some reason trinkle just enough water to be called a poundless fountain. Wah, why? For one of the richest countries, is that all you got? Where does the money go? Anyway, we randomly stumbled upon an Indian specialty store and explored it as two babies in a candy store. Confused but intrigued. Check fruit, what, baby corn, liter of coconut milk. How much rice do you need? 18 kilograms. How are you gonna carry this? I had to sing it as 20 kilograms. You look very safe, but you know. Wrong chilies, I first saw those were cherries. And our next destination on our list is to a classic big European church. So we were patiently waiting for the traffic light to cross this ginormous bridge that is actually very high up, if you think about it. So just don't think about it. While I was trying to get some cool shots of the flags waving in the non-existent wind, I also noticed that there's a fire! Fire? Why is there a fire? Kinda cool, not gonna lie, you can roast some marshmallows on it. Later on, I looked up and apparently it is a national solidarity moment. Monument, not moment. In memory of victims of Second World War. I respect that. But again, is this the best you could do? I could have built something better looking than this in Minecraft. And I did. Look, I call it Little Trinkle. After a couple more wacky and groovy steps, we finally found the church and this cool looking public pigeon pool. Go! Yeah! Maybe the water was a bit too chilly for his liking. But the church is better looking than I expected. Very beautiful windows and tapestry. Dang, so expensive. However, there was a weird noise consistently playing in the background, as if to scare off animals in your yard. On our way out, we were greeted with Lady Liberty. It looks just like the monument in Riga, doesn't it? But a more deluxe version covered in gold. From here, our next destination is the city center. Nay, the country center. So I have high expectations, okay? Look at this trash can! <laughs> so derpy. It didn't take long to get there. We passed by the boogie store while following the butterfly path. Maybe it looks odd from the bottom, but if you look on the ground, you see their shadows. Which, I have to admit, looks, as my brother would say, lovely. But then we found this, basically the main square. And more pigeons. Pigeons! Enjoying the simple things in life. Ah, I wish I was a pigeon. We were walking some more and looked at some more stuff. What is this? Is this water? <gasps> water! But we were thirsting for something more than just water. So we headed to the nearest grocery store. Maybe it's just me, but this grocery store has a really nice display of their items. Like the fruit and vegetable section looked a bit too perfect. Needed to check their peanut butter selection. Not too promising. Mama ice cream and this baby ice cream. Mm. We got ourselves a soda pop and I took some nice looking cards. Oh, that's perfect. I'm a sucker for free and well-designed cards. What can I say? Pretty good. Mm. It's pretty nice. You're drinking the whole earth right now. But I was craving some dose of caffeine in my body for the day. 
So we went to the healthy looking serve yourself bistro and I got myself the smallest cup of cappuccino there is. It's a little baby. I paid for three years for this. <laughs> but they did give me a tiny piece of chocolate, which was very cute. And with the drinks in our hands, we were out headed to the nearest park. Any park, really. What? What happened? Is it that light? It's so heavy. Oh, it is really heavy. While we were waiting for the traffic light, I was trying to figure out how to mix and drink the coffee. This coffee was just espresso and foam, no milk. And if you know a thing or two about cappuccinos, there should be milk. A picture for reference. We found a park. Oh, but this is beautiful. So I figured out the technique. Swirl it around. <laughs> it's working, okay? Because the stick is not working. Oh god! <laughs> you know what they say, money doesn't buy you happiness, but chocolate can solve all your problems. Ooh, it changed color! This is chemistry. Right here before your eyes. Mine's a bit better. <laughs> I'm so disappointed. We took a little snack break. And this is me trying to show you a snack that I have, but the camera wouldn't focus. Come on, focus! I'm focusing. After the coffee, I got some more energy and I was ready to continue our exploring adventures. So, we walked around the park and saw some nuns, some graffiti, and this tower that had the view of the pond. There's not much to see, but you know. And lastly, this accepting and non-judgmental bench. Young Caritas, we got your back. Thank you, Bench. Bench is so supportive. Now we're going back to the city center. Boing! And we're heading to this over here. Not sure what it is exactly, but it looks promising. So let's head on there. K kiosk. Add one more K and maybe that's where the white nuns work at. We also found a street with lampshades. And yes, the lights are on during the day because Luxembourg can waste money like a snow tomorrow. Me too! Also streets with leaves. Leaves! A little man and a goat. Be brave. Be driven. Be unique. Be friends. We stumbled upon this. I'm not sure what it is, but it looks important. Ukraine! Yeah! As we were walking by an alley and waved the train goodbye. Goodbye train! This is where the whole country of Luxembourg lives. Yeah. Right on those buildings. <laughs> We finally ended up where we wanted to be. Look at that. I think. Apparently, it's just a very pretty view with many houses and a plane. Plane! Protection is important. Mm -hmm. Mainly the face. So you get, don't get old and wrinkly when you're older. After all this walking, we we're ready to go sit down somewhere and grab ourselves some fuel for our bodies. That was the money shot. So we were going back to the main square, just before passing an important building and a convincing bookstore with an interesting selection of books. Trump's Trump under fire. Becoming Michelle Obama. <laughs> there are many options for food, starting from gorgeous looking and overpriced bakeries. So expensive, oh my god. And to more unique places like McDonald's, Pizza Hut and Subway. But we decided to go back where I got my coffee. Why? I'm not too sure. It wasn't cheap, but at least we had many options. Well, not as many as last time, but also there were not that many people. So you lose some, you win some. We took some salads. I decided to try something more exotic, which, you know, coincidentally, by pure accident, was the cheapest option out there. It is um, couscous with tiny shreds of smoked salmon, a pinch of parsley, a whole trail mix bag of raisins, and celery that somehow found its way into the salad. It's okay, but I also added some spicy cashew sauce, which I think made it a bit better. I'm not sure. But I had a revelation that I definitely don't like raw celery. And I actually do like raisins, but this is way too much. I'll save it for later. I also decided to grab some dessert. Haven't had rice milk since kindergarten, I think, so I took some to try. Ooh, gooey. Not as good as I remember it. Quite cinnamony, but I like cinnamon. Of course, an obligatory pee before we go. 
And since my bladder and my water bottle was empty, I was ready to refill it. At the main square we found a public drinkable water thing, so I had to use this opportunity. Now, slowly but surely, we started heading back to the train station. But this time we're going a different way back. We go here? And we have to cross this bridge by going under it. At first it looked kind of creepy, it was very dark, but then as we got closer to the actual bridge part, it looks so aesthetically pleasing. It looks so minimalistic and beige and welcoming. Who knew that bridges could make you feel like this? There were some nice views and a lot of fences, which is good. On the other side of the bridge, we saw a cute park, the k kiosk. Thank you, sign. The... And some pigeons enjoying their day off in the sunny sun next to some wet water. But there's this last thing that I want to do. Being on top of that tower made me realize I should not give up this easily and I should strive for my goals. Therefore, I'm committed to finding the Russian store. So I checked Google Maps again and it is still there. Maybe it's the new Holly's market? So we're going in. Wait, this doesn't look like the pictures. This is more Middle East, I think. <sighs> I'm pretty devastated. Wait, what's this? Oh my god, it's so hidden. But here it is. They have so many things. Pelmeni, sirochki, tvarok, Russian chocolate, sushki, pichenki. These are the cookies. I'm taking this home. Glass in a box? That's kind of weird. Okay. <gasps> look, look, look! It's from oh, yeah. it's Latvian. And this also. And we went home with the good stuff. I'm very happy with this. It was time to head right where we came from, which is the central of the centralist train station. Plane! Walking by things I already seen, and we landed safely in our train and quietly said goodbye to the city. I expected that the praniki would be filled with jam, but I failed to realize it's just an aroma, so they're just okay. 